Okay, we're up here in the wild north of Italy. Italy? We're going fishing. Italy. It's Friday, it's, conditions are perfect. Water temperature is about 66 degrees. We got cousin Rick Cardo here. We're gonna hit Wavy tonight. Get up early in the morning tomorrow. And I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll see. Worry about that tomorrow. That's right. Beautiful night. Nice fall evening. A gorgeous night. A gorgeous night. Yeah, we brought the chainsaw just in case we see some good standing dead. We need firewood. As always. So we'll see. We'll check back with you when we get to Wavy and we get our bait in the water. Look at that dead head right there. Alright, so we were on the water for about, what, about a minute, Rick? Exactly. And we caught ourselves a nice, a nice walleye. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> A nice walleye. We got him in the in the frame That's now. That's a keeper for sure. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh Holy yeah. shit, Blair. Yeah. We found these spot today. I don't know what the hell all that is. Funny spots. Yeah, that's kind of ugly. I don't know what the hell. Hey. Is. We'll let him go. Yep. You know what that is? He probably got eaten by something. Bit. Okay, we're gonna let him go. Yep. Okay. Let's put this baby in a, in a live well. Are you rolling? Well, oh, this is still on. Okay, well, here we go. We got a perch. We're keeping this guy. We're gonna cook him up. All right, here we go. You got one? You gotta get that eye fixed. Blair, shoot me. That was a beaut. Rick fell asleep on a net there. Damn. We'll get him back. We're catching all these walleye. Like in like the first 15 minutes we've been on the water. That's the way it is up here in the wild north of Netley. Never know. No. North Netley. Yep. Well, you're doing that. I'm gonna have a we got the camera on? a whole bunch of fish. <laughs> nice walleyes. Yeah. And a perch over here yet. I'm gonna cut them up right now. Get this done nice and quick. Nice morning up here in the wild north of Netley, I tell you. Beautiful day for fishing. 
Beautiful morning, nice and calm, chilly. But today, we have to pay our attention to doing some work out here today. Again, as you know, as you've seen before, I made a feeble attempt to get some firewood for Tilo's wood pile here. So it's looking pretty bad. I was able to scout some standing dead up on Wavy Creek. So I'm going to go after that today. Hopefully it all goes, goes well. Got my chainsaw. I've never really put it to the test yet. So we'll, uh, we'll do that today and hopefully, and hopefully uh, have show some results. So we're going to get the old Northwood uncovered. Get all our tools, our supplies. And we're going to head out onto the creek and see if we can't get some wood. Maybe I'm going to have a bowl of porridge first. Yeah, I think so. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, we'll keep her going. Just keep it going because that's the way we do it up here in the wild north of Netley. Okay, I'll talk to you in a bit. The creek is pretty low again. So hopefully I don't have to deal with uh, any mud on the banks again. But we'll give her a try. It's a nice morning out here in the wild north of Netley. And we are going to be going that away. Yeah, it's definitely low again today, so for an update though, good news is for us walleye fishermen, the temperature is dropping. I think on uh, last weekend it was around 66 degrees, 68 in some spots. Today it's 58. So it's 10 degrees, so it's dropped fast. So a couple more good nights of frost and we should get down below that 50 degree level, which where in my history shows, uh, you know, my experience show that that's when the big greenback come in. So we're going to see if we can harvest some firewood today early. Maybe we'll get some fishing in this afternoon yet. I hope so. We're going to give it, work hard and give it a try. All right, let's carry on. All right, we got the boat all tied off. Found a different spot. Again, the water, the water is so low that it's pretty mucky, but this isn't too bad here. So now, we're going to go scout before we bring anything out, make sure it's okay, make sure we got a good walking trail, and we are going to be going that away. way well, At least it's not, not too swampy in here, pretty solid, quiet. Just keep your eyes open. You have to find a good, a good route. Nothing's in here. Nothing's in here. I tell you that. But here's the clearing up here. I'm going to go around this way. Hopefully we can get some trees here. Doesn't seem too bad. Nice and quiet. We'll have a look around here. Oh, it's pretty high in here, man. Whew. It'll be hard to work. But look at that. These are the poplars I've seen from the, from the shore. That one right there. We're going to try it. That's the one, right? All right. I don't know if you can see me. That's the one we're going to take down. I'm going to make the trail back to the boat, get the tools, maybe could break a little bit more of a trail. Talk to you.
Okay. Break time. Okay, we're giving her nice and slow, but sure. We got a good, good tree here. So, I'm happy. Just gonna take our time. We got all day. Just pace myself. Make sure I don't have a stroke or a heart attack. <laughs> and just take my time. But I do definitely have some good wood. I'm gonna have two more, two more trips. I got, as it gets closer to the top of the tree, they get smaller, so I can cut them longer and carry them. I'll try 10 footers. I'll try it. I don't want to put too much weight in the boat, so I'll just take this one, one tree for now. A little look at the area I'm in. Pretty nice, nice and quiet. I have a camp here, for sure. Ground is high and dry. Right next to Wavy Creek. All right, we're gonna keep working here. Take my time again, like I said. And get this back to camp or I can buck it up maybe split it who knows <laughs> we'll see but it's good wood really good firewood okay I'll talk to you in a bit tree done. I tell you, that's a lot of hard work, man. I'm glad I did it. That wood is perfect, perfect for Bernie right now. Dead standing poplar. You can't get anything better. I got about 10, 20, 30, I got about, I don't know, 30 feet of logs there. So I'll take that back to cabin. First, I'm going to chain smoke a couple cigarettes, maybe have a beer, and then uh, relax a bit. All right, I'll see you back at the cabin. Okay, I got off the shore okay. I had a lot of weight in the front, so I really had to reef on the boat, sunk into the mud. But we got her, we're good. Not too, boat's pretty good, only got a little bit of mud in the boat. A little dry off. Vacuum it out, good as new. I had to walk about, once I was in the bush, I had to walk about 500 yards to the, ah, uh, no. I'm gonna say 250, a confident 250 yards through that shit. But by the time I was done, I got a nice uh, nice trail going through there. So I just went up around the corner here near Captain Point. I seen old Ian drive by, the guy who never fishes in Wavy. <laughs> I tell a fishing musician here, catches all those crick eyes here. So he's out here hunting for some crick eyes. There's a guy down there 
in the channel. I've never been that far, so I just wanted to see where the heck Ian is. But I don't see him, so he's kind of far. He was probably a ways up there around the bend yet, so. We'll talk to him later back at camp. I'm sure he'll be by to grab a beer from me, so. Okay, we are gonna go that away. Once I turn this boat around, back to camp, I'm gonna take a slow ride so I can catch my breath and uh, have a rest, so. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. camp I got the boat on okay I was a little worried about the extra weight in it it was easy no problem so now I know so now like it's kind of like killing a deer you make the shot but now the work begins so I made the shot by cutting down the tree bucking it up and bringing it to the boat but now the work begins cutting it all into stove lengths splitting it and filling up that wood pile all right We'll get it to work. Woo. Okay, we're gonna get a fire going here, get rid of these mosquitoes too. Okay, that's it. We filled up this one, front to back. We're good to go for the rest of the year, that's for sure. We're gonna take some home for Tilo, test it out, make sure it meets her future standards. And uh, good day's work. Very satisfying to harvest your own wood. It's a little bit of work. As long as you give yourself enough time and pace yourself, definitely do it again. But when you're in a pinch, you gotta call Popeye. For 65 bucks, man. <laughs> but mind you, this is better wood than Popeye gets. This is nice fucking poplar. Nice poplar, ready to burn. I'm burning some right now. Just to test it out. Smells good. Alright guys, we're gonna carry on and uh, make something to eat. I'm kind of hungry now. It's past lunchtime. Clean up camp and we'll take it from there. Okay, we'll talk to you guys in a bit.